use myself as an example. Um, uh, I used to douche, you know, the, the douchey douchey, because you buy the stuff and and I noticed that any time I did it, I was getting infection. Yeah. So you see, <laughs> so I, I now said, okay, so what do I do? And I always tell people they're selling soaps that shouldn't get there. I'm, I, I'm very sensitive. So what I try to do, one is um, try to shave the hair. Some people say when they shave, they have itchy, itchy. So the thing now is that you look for what is good for your skin. Um, uh, nylon pants, I know no. Yeah. Nylon pants. Um, uh, and they're they getting, certain... they're getting so popular. They're very no because they're, you know they're what? pretty. They're pretty. They're pretty. Really pretty really. That's it. You yeah. see, so that's why I say most of the time we we'll wear the wrong things uh, for wrong reasons because. I always reason. tell those who wear yeah, the full right pants reason. now. Uh, oh, the, the full pants sorry. now. If you give it to a child, no, you tell you, I no. was wearing these baskets. They don't do, yeah, they don't do full pants. I wear knickers. They're, they're still sexy. Mm -hmm. And they still cover everything. Definitely. So the thing now is that people wear, people wear uh, pants and uh, pants are, um, uh, uh, what do you call them? Slacks, trousers. And you start seeing the line. So yeah. most of the time, people tend to wear those are the pants that really talk into you. Why are you pointing at her? I, I don't know. I was wondering. <laughs> I was wondering. No, no I think it's just, it's just, it's just gesturing. It, it's just because when okay. I talk, I, I... Okay. So the thing now is, one, you have to make sure that in the morning, it's very important. Do that. Do, uh, use your soap. Use your your sponge. Use your thing. If you want, if you can use your fingers, you can do that. Just wash the place. And I wanted to tell you about the panty liners. I realized that when your panties are wet, if you put another panty liner, it doesn't stick. Yeah. It goes off. So now the advice now they say is that you should try and wear your, uh, you should try and change your underwear. So I, I'm going to work, I'll carry spare pants. I think so. It mm -hmm. was, after all, it's just like <laughs> when women are in period, you carry extra pants. Yeah. Because for you to change the panty liner, like I go out, I don't tend to pee when I go out. I tend to pee when I come back home. So the thing now is that for me, it's okay. But there are some people who pee a lot. So if you pee a lot, um, uh, you now have to make sure that you have to take extra... Yeah, but you can just pad yourself. Um, you don't have to pad yourself with a uh, tissue because if you pee a lot, mm -hmm. you rinse yourself or you... Yeah. Need, you yeah, it just depends on what is what you're comfortable with. You know, um, I I also try to ask questions you know, prior to now, yeah. and I was told that um, it's actually not advisable medically to go anywhere around the vagina because na nature has provided its own protective fluid okay. you know, around there. You're not supposed to wash. You're it. not supposed to wash it. That's the inside. Yeah. The inside. The yes. inside. So, but around it, where you have the, the labia covering yeah, and yeah, other you can, use, you can yeah. use your soap and yes. wash. Okay. And then talking about uh, clean shave and all of that, yeah. it's your choice. But if you're going to grow hair, be it in your armpits yeah. or in between your legs, they all trap armpits. water. If you want to, okay. it's your choice, yeah. you know. I may not want to. So, it's your choice. But then, the more hair you have, the more job half because yeah. you need to wash you know deeper and then um, you know stronger to remove uh, oil and all of that if you don't wash the area with soap yeah. you're going to you know, build bacteria on its own and you wash you don't rinse well you also introduce another chemical bacteria so it's important to wash very well but while you're washing there's no need to put hands i remember when i was doing antenatal the nurses would say why are you washing it? Why are you putting your hand? Did you keep anything there? Did okay. you put anything yeah, there? It's, okay. it's self-cleansing. Yeah. Okay. It's self-cleansing. So it's important we get to know that and also teach our daughters. And speaking of that, I see this is a, another product for women. We all know what this is. It's a tampon, right? Okay, so we try to use it in our monthly business. I, if you don't understand how to use it, it's better not to make efforts. I would say don't use it at all. It's been known to be associated with things like toxic shock syndrome. There's nothing wrong with the conventional thing mm -hmm. that you wear on the outside. There's no need for this insertable thing. Um, okay. Manufacturers, 
capitalists will always introduce all kinds of rubbish into the market for you to consume. <laughs> this has been found to be medically harmful. Avoid it. But and people who wear it's not people, necessary. But people who tend to wear the jeans, g strings. Yeah. They find it even more comfortable. Why would you want to be wearing a G-string when you are on your period? Why do you want to wear G-strings when you're on your period? When you're on your period. You can wear it at any other time. We are different. That's that's it. If people want to wear it, they're allowed to wear it. You have to learn to let people be. It doesn't make sense.